What is going on, y'all? Another day, another dollar. Got in last night pretty late. Uh, I didn't film yesterday, but got in about, oh, I think 10 o'clock. So I didn't work today during the day, but it's uh, about 8 p.m. Getting ready to head out for Valdez. So we're gonna do a quick pre-trip and uh, hook up to the trailer. And yeah, go from there. So I'm gonna get this truck checked out, get her fired up and warming up. Talk to you guys in a few. So we'll see, uh, we'll see how in depth the video gets. Just gonna be another basic run to Valdez. Um, nothing too, nothing too impressive, but we'll document it. So, yeah, check back with you guys in a few. We are all hooked up. Sounded a little weird at first, but it's just where I kicked it on the tire. Like I said, we ain't looking for exact pressure there. We're just making, uh, making sure it's got pressure. So, oh, I forgot this trailer's Kind of frustrating. You have to open both both doors to open one. It's got such a good seal on it. Oh yeah, not bad. It's not growing uh, out our ears. Boss man got us an electric pallet jack, which is awesome. So we'll have to take good care of that thing. And uh, let's see. What else was I gonna say? Hmm. Yeah, we got an electric pallet jack. So that's awesome. Some of the stuff we haul out of here is extremely heavy and a lot of the places that we deliver do not have, they do not have oh, loading docks. So we're pallet jacking everything to uh, the back of the trailers, which is not exactly fun. So, I kind of want to slide these axles a little bit. I don't know if they'll slide given how much, uh, you know, given the snow that they're sitting on. Uh, yeah. Maybe we'll leave them where they're at for now. But, I mean, they're not, it's not really a problem other than the further you slide them back, the more weight it puts in your drives. And given the time of year, it's nice to have that weight on the drives, but I'm not too concerned about it. The roads were good yesterday, so we'll see how they are today. So, all right, well, let's hop in the truck and step north, get some fuel in Sutton, hopefully dodge the scales, because, you know, we don't really like visiting over there, and get these groceries to Valdez. Alright. In the winter time I always roll backwards first when I'm first hooking up to a trailer. Just in case one of the brakes is sticking. And when I say brakes is sticking, uh, what I mean is you'll have you'll have moisture inside your brake drums. 
that will be you know be melted while you're driving because obviously your brakes get warm they create heat but when you stop they will freeze or the moisture will freeze and it will freeze the brake shoes to your drums so always back up like I said sometimes you'll hear me talk about getting out and beating brakes that's what I'm talking about but it's nice when you can just uh, back up like that if they if one's hanging up a little bit it'll break it free so yes sir if y'all can see that but there's a, a water streak and I tried to clean the windows with the windshield wipers but it uh, wasn't quite wanting to do it yeah I'll have to clean them in a little bit so anyways Navigate all these tight turns. Run over a snow bank. Not that tight, but with the snow, it definitely makes it a little tighter than usual. So it's fun getting out of the, getting out of there sometimes. But yeah, let's uh, get on the highway here. Get through town. Usually it's about five and a half hours of actual drive time but by the time I get fuel and stop and you know walk around everything it usually ends up being about a six six and a six and a, a little bit six hours and then a few minutes but yeah we'll see hopefully uh, it's a nice smooth run down tonight
try to get some, you know, loading, unloading footage. I can just mount it and let it, you know, roll while I'm strapping or chaining down. So that is definitely the goal. Um, yeah, some of your comments. You guys were saying you have family that lives up here. You guys have come to visit. Yeah, it's awesome. You know, it gets it gets old. I mean, Alaska sometimes gets really old living here, especially this time of year. But it is pretty impressive. It's very beautiful. So, love to see it. Scales are closed. I do believe someone is getting inspected because they were open when I passed them on my way in to go pick up the truck. But I guess we'll see.
much to everything a dry van does, which is a, just a regular, the big white trailer you see, and then also we can haul refrigerated freight, but also in the winter, we use it to keep stuff warm. So if we have anything that can't freeze, we can put that in the front half of the trailer or the back half, depending on which, which section you're cooling, because this is a multi, multi-zone. Um, we can either heat it and keep it at 40, 50, 60 degrees, or we can cool it and get it to zero degrees. So summer, cool. In the winter, heat or freeze, because sometimes you know, the temperatures are 25, 30 degrees, but you need to keep meat or stuff at zero. We'll still run the freeze uh, section on there. So. But yeah, I'm going to fill that up. It has like a 50 gallon tank, I think, but it's about a quarter full. The truck was sitting in about a quarter. It'll probably take about another 600 bucks for the diesel. I think it's about four and a half miles a gallon, 4.8, last time I figured it up. Not great, but we have a lot of hills and a lot of curves, and it's not like smooth, you know, open road. So, yeah. Well, gonna get some fuel. Uh, went through our paperwork, and it's not too bad. Not too bad. I think we uh, just got eight or ten. 10 drops, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, well, 13, 13 drops, but not bad, not bad at all, so, might pick up a little bit of backhaul tomorrow, I'm not sure, I think there's still some empty totes down there, empty F totes, we might grab some of those, but we'll see, so, yeah, it is currently, I forgot my watch at home, so I don't know what time it is. I think it's like 9.45 p.m. We'll get down there probably about 2 a.m., hopefully a little before if it's smooth sailing. Try to get some sleep. I got one more video to, to edit and post, and then uh, maybe get on this one. So, yeah. I'm going to check on uh, my fuel pump, and catch you guys later.
right, y'all. Well, we made it down here to Valdez. I actually made really good time. Five hours and 26 minutes total time. Five hours and I think 14 minutes of drive time. So really good time for winter. I had great roads. Just started snowing the last 30 or 40 miles in. Yeah, so we're gonna go to sleep, wake up, and deliver the rest of this tomorrow. So I think it's just supposed to flurry tonight. Hopefully we don't get a ton of snow. That's always the worst, <laughs> is when you go to sleep and you wake up with six inches of snow on your hood, and then you're trying to deliver with all the snow, but I think it's just supposed to flurry, then stop. We'll see, you never know in Valdez. But we will update the morning. Well, woke up to a little snow, but it's supposed to keep going all day, so we're gonna try to bang out the rest of these deliveries. I just uh, dropped off some stuff at the Safeway, and now I gotta run over to DOT. So, um, I gotta get this glove off somehow. But uh, yeah, a little bit of snow. It's not supposed to snow crazy hard. I think like half inch an hour or something. But the sooner we can jump out of this place and get over the pass, the better off we're gonna be. So yeah, let's go uh, knock out the rest of these deliveries. All right, y'all. Well, a little bit of a update. Got most of my stuff dropped off around town. Didn't film much, it's been snowing all day. Um, the roads look pretty clear, but there's probably three inches or so that's fallen in town so far. So we're gonna head out to the airport. I've gotta drop some ice melt. And then over to uh, Paris and one other spot. So. Yeah, otherwise, uh, so far, not too bad. Not too bad of a day. I gotta run to the terminal out there at Alieska on my way to Glen Allen, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. So, yeah, buddy. snow Valdez has gotten this year but it's quite a bit there for a while I thought it was never going to quit snowing down here every time I came down here it was snowing so for some reason on camera it doesn't look like it's snowing at all but it definitely looks a lot clearer to the camera than it does in real life but anyway Well, it is turning into a, oh, let's see, is that any better? Probably not. It's turning into quite the snowstorm here. I guess it's supposed to go all weekend. So, thankfully, that was our uh, last drop here in town. We are gonna head out of town do have to stop the Alieska terminal, but that ain't no big deal. Should go pretty easy. So, yeah, we gotta do that. And then, let's see what else. Yeah, a few stops in uh, Glen Allen. So, it should be smooth as glass. Let's see what we got. Uh, just trying to get some paperwork going here. Now I'm gonna get this paperwork figured out. I'll turn you guys back on, let you see some of the snow as we head over to the terminal. So, yeah.
days. It was snowing pretty good in town there still, but kind of lightened up once we got on top of the pass.
chance of some construction workers staying there, some road workers for a little bit this summer, but pretty much, yeah, they only have people there for, you know, four to six weeks. It's crazy that they can generate that much revenue, you know, to be able to keep that thing, you know, heated and, uh, you know, ready to operate the rest of the year. Wild, but it's interesting, that's for sure. doing some more of the same and uh, keep scooting on into Glen Allen. Alright, well that does it. Got our last bill signed for the day, dropped off those meds. And we are out of here. Let's see how much... Oh, that's froze up. Oh yeah, she's still full basically. Beautiful, crisp day in Glen Allen. About 13 degrees, not too bad. Overall, everything went pretty good. Uh, had a little hiccup with some ice melt we were supposed to deliver to the oh, Alaska Marine Terminal. But thankfully the boys at the state came in clutch and care of that. So now it's time to put on our driving shoes, also known as slippers, and uh, knock out this last three hours home. So give dispatch a call, see where they want this trailer. I got a little bit of back call from DOT here in Glen Allen. So we'll see. Uh, they might want me just parked at the shop, but yeah, let's get cruising these last uh, 100 and 184 miles or so, I think, from here. See y'all in a bit. I don't know what we got going on up here. My first guess would be... successful trip so just thank the Lord for that
Also, I am ready to get out of the truck. Um, most of the time, I'm. I mean, I obviously would rather be at home with the family, but most of the time, I'm. Uh, you know, always running and gunning for more seat time. But this week, I'm like, I'm. I'm happy to uh, set the brakes and hang the keys. I am. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of over it this week, so not really over it. Just like I said, being sick one day and it's been a long week. So yeah, I'm gonna uh, turn in paperwork, change shoes, plug the truck in, shut her down, and head on to the house. So.